The Illinois app is available now on Apple and Google Play Store. Download the app, get the latest news, stream our podcasts, watch interviews, and listen to Illinois Radio Live. Download the app right now. But, uh, you know, we got an ill talk topic for you all today. Now, Kanye West recently landed a 10-year deal with Gap uh, to bring his fashion line, Yeezy Gap. Uh, within this 10 year deal, um, the, the, the deal reportedly starts this month and it comes with the option to renew at the five year mark, at which point Gap expects Yeezy to generate one billion in sales. So the ill talk question for today is with Kanye West landing a 10 year deal with Gap, do you think he'll generate one billion in sales? We got a couple comments we're going to go through. Uh, Romar Salas said Gap ain't had black folks shopping there in years. I definitely think uh, they're, they'll turn over profit like never before. Christopher Gross said anything is possible. If you'd like to chime in on this conversation, you can hit us up at 708-581-4850. Uh, we'll take a live call or you can leave a voicemail. Now, um, I'm going to start things off. And I'm going to say uh, with Kanye joining the gap already, their stock has already jumped up 12 points just mm-hmm. like that. I feel like he can turn over. He got 10 years. Well, five if he is up to him. But I feel like he can turn over and, and make um, <clears throat> generate a billion dollar in sales. I mean, uh, one of his interviews back in 2013, he talked about how he made over 80 some thousand in merch um, in one day from a show. That's one day. So seeing him do that independently by himself and not have a fashion, uh, you know, not have a um, somebody like Gap behind him that can push and really get his clothes to the masses. I feel like he will generate that billion dollar in sales. And you never know. They might bring some shoes to the line as well. You, you never know. I'm just saying. So me personally, I feel like uh, it's a good move for Kanye, especially with him working at Gap before the music took off. <laughs> and then him actually blowing up and then partnering with the same people he used to work for back in the day that fired him. It's kind of dope to see, you know, what's going to happen. But I think he will generate that billion in sales. Let's go back, back to the gap. Look at his check. Wasn't no, no scratch. scratch. So if he stole, it wasn't his fault. Yeah, he stole. Never, never got, got caught. caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that right there. Like, it's just, it's just one of those things where you know, like, like we all work, so we all know, like, man, I can't wait to get the fuck up out of here, and I'm gonna buy some type of way into this business. That's what he did. You feel me? And I think just off of that. It's just it's, he's gonna get support off of it because it's like, dude, you did that for real. And to see it is like, he's always talked about fashion. All his interviews, he's talked about getting in, and now he's finally in somewhere to do his thing. I just want to see what he's gonna be able to do. Same, same. You know, think about the shoes. Uh, took him a while to get his shoes off. He said all this on the Breakfast Club interview, the Sway interview. Yep. And he's likely doing everything. Everything he said and his shoes is like he said he done jumped over jump man. man so, yeah. pretty ride. What's your thoughts? Um, I mean, I just kind of feel like I don't even know why that was put up to question to debate because he's probably already made over a billion dollars on all his merchandise. If we talk about his releases from the very first Yeezys. Mm-hmm. Probably made a billion dollars. So, damn. Like I, he, he probably's made a billion dollars already off his merchandise. So, like, I think it's cool that he linking up with Gap. I would rather it be a black brand, or I would rather him just stepped out on his own and just made Yeezy a big brand. Like, make Yeezy a Gap, make Yeezy an Adidas, make Yeezy a Nike. I would have rather seen that, but that's just me on my <coughs> real. Black shit. And, I mean, you're not the only one. I mean, though. yeah, no, I'm not the Some only one. Some people feel that way as well. I mean, like it's cool, but it's like I ain't gonna say I don't care. But it's like, damn, what is Kanye West making a billion dollars off of a ten year gap deal gonna do for me? Mm. So it's like it's cool and all. Like it's, I guess it's a win for the community, but it's also like, okay, what else? Like you've been landing big deals. Like you had a deal with Nike. You had a deal with Adidas. Now you got a deal with Gap. Like it's cool to see you manifest. Like I'm not knocking that at all, but. It's like, what more can we expect from Kanye in fashion other than just his own? I feel like when he does that, then I'll be impressed. Mm. All the collaborations is cool. Like, I'm not knocking it. Like, I'm very proud. Like, I definitely want to see that. Like, that's a black man, like, succeeding. But I'd rather you just step out on your own and do it yourself. You got the money, too. Your fucking wife's Kim Kardashian, so you got the influence. And then it's like, and then it's also, too, to say, like, oh, it's Kanye West going to make a billion dollars in five years with the gap. Look at his influence. 
Kanye West could tweet something and it's going to have thousands of retweets in seconds. So you tell me about his sales and based on what he already doing. So I don't know if I'm neutral. I don't know if I'm just really tired. <laughs> but it is what it is. I hope you make a billion dollars and then break me off some. Man. Break me off a piece <laughs> of that phone. I look at it as like, um, you know, you, you were saying that um, what is it going to do? I think me personally looking at this situation with it took Kanye years to actually get to where he wanted to be. And he'd been talking to Gap since 2013. So he already had that in his mind. But I look at it as a positive, uh, I'm going to say, uh, influence for the city. Like, everybody say Chicago this and Chicago that. Kanye from Chicago. And he's showing everybody in the in Chicago that's creative. Like, if you got something on your mind you want to do it, you can do it. And I, I look at it like that. Like, he's a pos- it's an influence that's going to show everybody here, you can do it like a Ron Louis. Ron Louis can grow and get that Margella. You know what I'm saying? Swess Bastu doing her own thing, and she's growing, got a new shop. So I just look at it as motivation for our fashion culture here in Chicago. Yeah, That's I feel all. like on a smaller scale, it's more motivating than it is to see Kanye West do something he's done already. Like I said, like I get exactly what you're saying. I understand the journey, but he's landed big deals before. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like... You know you how you got that one cousin that was just an overachiever? Not an overachiever, but your one cousin that always got good news. Right. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, damn, what else you going to do? Great, great job. Like, it don't have as much as an impact, I feel like, at least for me. I think that's what I'm what I'm feeling like. I feel the I f- – I'm reading the room. I feel it very well. I feel the vibes. But I think for me it's just not hitting as hard because I feel like – Nike and Adidas was very big. I mean, Gap yeah. is cool, too. I like the comment that Ro made, you know, yeah. that, you know, Gap hasn't seen black people in years, but it's also like, damn, I would have rather the black dollar went back into to the, the black, to the black yeah. pocket. Because yeah. if we about to bring, you know what I'm saying? Like, And it's like now we in this space of the world where black people are trying to, f- not trying to force it, but we're <laughs> trying to encourage each other to shop black. And then it's like, okay, well, I want to shop black, so of course I want to shop Kanye West, but what good does it do me to shop Kanye West's new Yeezy collection when the proceeds going back to Gap, which is not a black-owned business? I think, to me, my thing is, I think he just found the way it could be cheaper for him and at the same time gain (laughs) gain a major profit off of it. I look from, like, just seeing, like, Gap, not saying they close, like, they... You get cheap. It's affordable prices at Gap, mm-hmm. and so, they can print. They and can, they can uh, print. They can produce more, everything yeah. he mass, has to do yeah. it, Man, without. And he ain't have to do. He ain't got to do too much work either. Right. You Besides know what I mean? Design. Designs and shit. So it's like a, a, a more cheaper department. A cheaper thing of Yeezys. You can get cheaper shirts, but with great quality. You know what I mean? And I feel like he probably chose the Gap because they was perfect for it. But his they idea. won't be just selling khakis anymore. <laughs> they have some decent dreams. It just, it's just like, it makes me question his audience. I mean, well, yeah. you know, he has a very diverse audience, but yeah, I see what you say, what you mean by that. Like, like who do you want to shop this? Mm-hmm. I mean, we going to see. But back in his time, niggas was shopping at the Gap. People heavy. definitely was shopping no, at man, the I'm Gap. Just, I'm just playing that was advocate. You know, no, he, exactly. you know what? Him and Don C probably was just getting high. He was like... What if we could make niggas go back to the gap? <laughs> <laughs> that's the edible talking. <laughs> that's the edible talking. Oh, I mean, oh. that's a real conversation. Think about it. If you and your homies talk like, bro, remember we used to be at the gap? Remember all we used to get all the polos for under twenty dollars? Yeah. What if we could make niggas go back to the gap? Let's bro? go back, back to, to the, the gap. gap. <laughs> With that, that should be the promo. That should be the promo song for his commercial. Let's go. Just put it in slow motion. Just having flash back in the hand working. Hey, and he just dropped the video to Spaceship too. So he just dropped the video to Spaceship. To Spaceship. Yes, dropped the video to uh, it's. Yeah, look, it's. He set on it. He already shot it. He set on it for a while. They released it. Well, he yeah. knew he was gonna do this shit. So he already had it planned. The, the video is like nostalgic. It, I can't even say it right. You know what Nostalgia. I mean? Because it's it's him back then. Back then. So yeah, he set on it and they released that. So yeah, <clears> for everybody so listening, definitely tune in and uh, it'll be on Illinois. Yeah, yeah, dot talk right shortly. Now. We got a dope show lined up for you all. We got Ashley Eats in the building. She'll be coming up shortly. Y'all stay in tune for that. But we finna jump into Kanye West spaceship. Keep a lock with us right here on Illinois Radio. We'll be right back. 